Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel. We will be going over how to do this cool masking effect in Final Cut Pro. Um, if you are new here, this channel is for all Final Cut Pro tips, tricks, and plugins. So if you're interested in that, please subscribe. On the screen here is our website, www.b3-studios.com, where you can find plenty, plenty of plugins, some free and some you have to pay for, um, but all in all, um, go check out the site. It's a great site for you to improve your workflow in Final Cut Pro. Now let's get right into the video. I will also be giving you guys a lot of gems on where to find free stock footage. So make sure you stay to the end because um, we got some exciting stuff for you guys today. Okay, to start off this effect, we are going to grab our clip and put it in our timeline. And this a specific clip of cars. I got the stock footage off of um, pexel.com and this is a great website to get all kinds of stock footage. Um, you can get photos, you can get videos. Um, this is not a sponsored video. Uh, I really just like this website and I use a, a lot of stock footage from this website. So if you ever need stock footage, this is a place to go for free. So um, yeah, that's one gem that I can give you guys that will really help you out, even if you're a beginner or you're experienced in Final Cut Pro, uh, pixels.com. All right, so now back to the video. So now what we're gonna do here is we are going to, um, we're gonna create a mask. So let's go to our effects tab right here and let's go to mask and keying. And we're gonna put our draw mask right here. I'm gonna place that on our clip. And what we're gonna do now is we're gonna zoom out a little bit. So we're gonna go to about 25%. And now we're just going to kind of mask in between these clips right here. Just try to make a real good accurate mask. And we're gonna go out on the outside of the clip. Okay, now once you have your mask, what we're gonna do now is we're going to click on our clip and we're gonna hold option and we're gonna drag down. And we wanna place that. What we're gonna do now is on this bottom clip, we are going to click on the draw mask and delete the draw mask. So make sure this area is highlighted in yellow and then just click delete or backspace or whatever is on your laptop. So now, we can zoom in to fit, so it can fit into the screen. And what we're gonna do now, so I'm gonna press on this bottom clip, I'm going to press V to kind of disable it so we can see where our mask is. So the mask is on the top clip right now. So um, I'm gonna press V again to bring the clip back. So now what we're gonna do here, since this is the top clip is the one that's masked, we are going to um, change the speed and uh, reverse the clip. So you're gonna press Command R to bring up the time. And now we're going to go to Custom and Reverse. And we're gonna play this back. Now as you can see, the clip is reversed and the mask looks pretty legit. Um, you can see a little bit here that the mask is appearing. So what we're gonna do here is we're gonna adjust the feather to make it look even more realistic. We'll bring the feather out like that or in, just make it look as realistic as possible. Play with it. Um, so now you see that looks very realistic right there. And to make this effect look uh, more cool or uh, give it a more visual experience, let's speed up this clip. So let's go to about times four and let's press play. So that looks a lot more, you know, that looks cool. Now, um, since this clip is, you know, shorter than the bottom clip, let's drag this to make it even and um, 
Let's play it back. So yeah, that looks cool. And as you can see, as we continue to make adjustments, um, the feather doesn't look as real, so we can just continue to make adjustments. Um, we can bring the feather out if we want. Now that looks a lot better. Looks a lot better. So now what we're gonna do here is we're going to, um, you can actually leave it like this if you want, if you're satisfied with this, or you can, you know, go up another notch in another advanced level, which I'm about to um, talk to you about right now. So we're going to um, click on both of these clips. So cl uh, click on this clip and then click Command to highlight both clips. And then we're going to add, uh, we're going to create a new compound clip. So you're going to right click and new compound clip. And we're just going to name this cars. And now what we're going to do here, um, since this is a compound clip, um, this is an extra effect. Um, you don't have to use this if you don't want to, but um, it definitely makes the video a lot more visually appealing. So. Um, this effect will be in the link um, in the description. I'm going to add it in the link in the description as well as where you can find the stock footage. So um, you're going to go to the title right here and you're going to click on, once you download it, it's going to be under my titles and it's uh, the B3 vertigo effect. So we're going to drag this on um, the timeline. And as you can see, um, it's already working. Um, an effect and it's pretty much a vertigo effect. It just makes the clip look a lot more You know, it, it just gives the clip a lot more spice and a lot more um, a dynamic feel so um, We're just gonna make adjustments with the vertigo effect. So on the target scale. I'm just gonna push this out a little bit And make sure my, my playhead is in the beginning of the timeline and I'm going to add a keyframe right here and then I'm gonna go all the way to the end. It's about right here. I'm gonna bring the scale up. Let's play this back and see what it looks like. Looks pretty cool, but I think it can make we can make this look even better. So let's actually reset this parameter on the target scale and let's play with our distortion outer radius or distortion inner radius. So this makes this kind of makes it distorted. So um, I'm going to add a keyframe right here. Go towards the end. And move this up a little bit. back add another keyframe right here on the inner radius go towards the end and play with this a little bit now so let's add one more keyframe to the target scale in the beginning and then towards the end and then bring it out Now let's play this back. That looks pretty cool. Okay guys, I hope you learned something today. This is a really cool effect that can help you in Final Cut Pro. Um, I also gave you guys a website where you can find free stock footage. Um, they have plenty of videos of all kind that you can find on that website, pexel.com. Um, the link for this vertigo effect will be in the description. Um, like I said, guys, go check out the website. There are plenty of plugins on the website, some free, some you have to pay for, but um, just go check that out. I appreciate you guys, and I will be dropping a lot more content coming soon. All right, guys. Thank you.